guys, Sir Gene again here, and for this particular video session, we're going to discuss some more problems involving generators and others. Okay. So for this particular problem, we have another two more, uh, no, another set of two problems here. Okay. So we're asked to determine the generated EMF of the shunt generator, and it is connected to a 100 loop on loop, which flows a line current of 3 amperes, the armature resistance and shunt fuel resistance of the generator are 1.5 ohm and 6 of respectively. Okay, so how do we solve that? So the first thing that we're going to do is, ang maganda niya is, i-join mo natin yung circuit. So anong sure ng circuit nito? So to do the circuit of this one, so itong sure niya. So ito siya. Okay, ito siya. So ito ay 0.5 volts. So mayroon pa lang power dito.
Simplify this equation so that is equal to okay, 0.5 times 8 so that is equal to 4 plus 300 volts. This also in volts. So E G would then be equal to 304 volts. And that is now the answer for our equation. Okay. So we have any clarifications or questions with regards to this sample problem. So if you have clarifications or questions, don't hesitate to send your private message. So if not, let's proceed to this sample problem. Okay. So this sample problem is somewhat lengthy, but we'll make it more short. Okay, at least and at least more understandable. Okay, so we're asking to calculate the voltage between the AC generator terminals if the following specs are given. So we have your number of slots, conductors per slot, plus per pole, winding, okay? Topology in star or Y, pitch factor of 90%, distribution factor of 94%. Eight poles and a speed of, or the motor speed of, 80 revolutions per minute. So this is the speed of the prime mover. Okay. So let us first determine what, kind, what formula we're going to use for this particular problem. So for this particular problem, we're going to use a formula. The effective of okay, E is equal to 2.22, as I discussed in the video lecture about the concepts. Okay. Times the pitch factor times the distribution factor, the frequency, the flux, and lastly, the, the conductor for phase. Okay. So as you can see, we don't have here the frequency yet. So to solve for the frequency, we're going to use another formula. So that frequency is equal to this one. So where in P is the pulse, N is the, so N is the armature speed. Okay. So if we're going to plug in all of the values here, so we have only poles, so we have here 8 poles, times 800, divided by okay, 120. So if you, if you can please to the calculator, you can calculate the frequency as 53.333 Hz. So you now have already F. So we have KD, yes. KD, yes. P. P, we have yes. So that is equal to 20 microfever. How about Z? So Z, we don't have that yet. Okay, so let's solve first for our Z. So we have there 56 slots. So Z is equal to the conductor for base. Okay, so 56 slots. Times, for every slot, we have 12 conductors. Cancel, cancel, so 56 times 12. So we have there 672 conductors. So how do you find the conductors per case? So to solve for the conductors per case, so that's equal to 672. So 672, so that is in 3 phase. So 672 divided by 3, okay. So that is 672 divided by 3. So that would give you 224 conductors per phase, okay. So we've already solved that one. So how do we solve further or solve for the effective voltage? So we have now have... So we will now directly substitute or inject all of the values of the equation. So that E effective would then be equal to 2.22 times the pitch factor of 93% or 0 0.92 times the distribution factor of 94% or 0 0.94 times our F of 53.333 Hz Times V of 20 microfever and our Z of 224 conductors per piece. So if you're if you're going to inject everything in your calculator, you can find the effective voltage as 463.7 volts. Okay. 
So since we are in P phase and that is connected in star, we know that to find that, that, that will be equal to, so we have to multiply this by what? So we have to multiply this by square root of, so you can leave the answer as is, or if you want the more simplified answer, So we can simply get in the calculator and find the answer for this one. So which is equal to 803.153 volts. And that is now the final answer for this sample problem. So do you have any problems or questions with regards to these two problems involving generators and motors? So if you have problems, questions with regards to these problems, don't hesitate to send your private message and always here to answer your concerns. So good luck in your career and hope you're enjoying the lectures.